Hey guys, Mobile Giza here, and you can see that I have the hacker guy in the background, so you probably know what that means. I've got a piece of malware to tell you guys about. Let's do this! I don't know how many of you guys use Macs, but this one is specifically addressing Macs. So, this was on Tom's Guide, which is where we get a lot of our information from, and it's by Anthony Spadafora, who does the most reporting on this stuff. Thank God. This one came out three days ago. Um, I just happened to see it today. Hackers are infecting Macs with malware using calendar invites and meeting links. Don't fall for this. Protect yourself from this scam. So I'm going to drop it into reader view so we can get rid of some of these ads. Getting an email with a calendar link for a meeting has become commonplace, but you may want to think twice before clicking on one. That's because hackers have begun using calendar invites and meeting links to infect unsuspecting users with Mac malware. As reported by Krebs on Security, cyber criminals are now abusing the popular scheduling tool Calendly in their scams. Like with other malware campaigns, this one uses social engineering to find potential targets, but instead of draining their bank accounts, it goes after cryptocurrency. Still, the hackers behind this campaign could pivot to go after other types of accounts by using a different Mac malware strain. Here's everything you need to know about how this scam works, as well as how to protect yourself and your Apple devices from Mac malware. Krebs on Security got a first-hand look into this scam after one of the site's readers explained how they were targeted and fell for it. In this campaign, the hackers behind it are impersonating cryptocurrency investors who are asking to schedule a video call. However, this lore could easily be adapted to go after other groups of potential victims. The attack itself began when the reader was approached via telegram by a scammer that wanted to invest in their startup. Everything seemed above board, though, and they then shared a Calendly profile with the scammer. So that was mistake number one. They shared their profile with the scammer. When it was time for the meeting, the reader clicked on the meeting link and nothing happened. They then contacted the scammer who explained that there was an issue with the video platform. So I would think that's another thing to watch out for. You're dealing with somebody you've never dealt with before, and as soon as what they sent you doesn't work, they're telling you something's wrong. That would tell me, uh, let's get out of here. Fortunately, though, their IT people had created a different meeting link. So here comes problem number two. Well, this is certainly the kind of thing that should raise suspicions the reader didn't think twice and clicked on the link, so that I definitely would not have done. However, instead of opening a video conferencing app, a message appeared on their Mac saying that the video service was experiencing technical difficulties. The message also referenced a script that could be run as a temporary solution to fix these issues. So you've given him your profile information. You've already clicked on one link that didn't work. Now you're going to click on another one. Not good. By running the script, the reader unknowingly infected their Mac with a dangerous Trojan designed to siphon off personal and financial data from their device. Unfortunately, once they realized what they had done, they changed their passwords and reinstalled Mac OS. So that was a good thing. So we don't know which Mac malware strain was used in this attack how to stay safe from Mac malware. Just like with the best Windows laptops, you need to be extra careful when dealing with links and messages from unknown senders on your MacBook. Anyone can reach out to you through email and hackers have all kinds of tricks in their arsenal to ensure that their phishing emails go undetected. As a rule of thumb, you should always hover your mouse over links to see where they go before clicking on them. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. 
Likewise, you can copy a link and paste it into a text editor to inspect it further. That's even better. Doing so is a great idea as it might be a misspelled version of a popular site that takes you to a phishing page instead. At the same time, you want to look out for shortened links as unlike with regular ones, there's no way to tell at first glance where they go. For this, you need to use a URL expander service, and many free ones are available online. So if somebody you don't know is trying to get you to click on a short link, that's probably not a good idea. In the scenario described above, though, you should never run a script on your Mac that was sent to you by someone you don't know personally. That's good advice. Even then, for most people, it's probably a better idea to avoid installing scripts on your Mac altogether. While your Mac does come with built-in malware protection in the form of Apple's own X-Protect, it may also be a good idea to consider installing one of the best Mac antivirus software solutions to run alongside it. Plus, many Mac antivirus products come with extra security tools like a password manager or even a VPN. The days when using a Mac meant you were safer from malware are officially over. However, by improving your cyber hygiene and thinking before you click, you can avoid falling victim to a nasty malware infection. So, just wanted to let you guys know about that one. And for any of you who are using Macs, don't be clicking on links from people you don't know. That's the general idea. So, as always, comments are welcome. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like my content, Please share the videos with friends, family, or whomever you think might be interested. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I upload. And please hit the thumbs up as it does help with the algorithm. And always remember we all do better when we love each other. I'm a